chicken wings. Yes, we've made them on the Blackstone before, but not like this. If you want to see our take on this Kansas City style barbecue wings on the Blackstone, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brad. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these cooks that we bring to you via the Blackstone. That's right. Man, I gotta say, this one I'm super excited for because it comes via something very, very special, near and dear to us. We've talked for a long time about a mail time segment we'd love to do, and well, we got a, so we've got some special mail we wanna open real quick. Yep. Now, we did have to open it to get some of the beautiful B-roll footage for our groceries. Uh, groceries, but I knew this was coming because Trey reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna make sure you guys got this. This was right before Christmas, so we wanted to make sure we got it, so I ran to the post office box. I hadn't been all week. Yes, but what we got here is some amazing Kansas City spicy barbecue sauce. Yes. This is Jack Stack barbecue sauce, something I've never had nor heard of. Right. And I'm so excited, but hold on. This is what it says. Happy holidays, fellas. Some barbecue KC style from the Midwest. I hope you guys can make some good stuff with this. Excited to see from Trey and the family. Trey, thank you so much. And for that, we can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Trey is an incredible individual. He's always looking for ways to help other people. In fact, he has a fun little channel here on YouTube. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Also the card, don't forget to check out the Trey and Rome show. Uh -huh. is, is what it's about, but Tracy is amazing. Thank you so much for always reaching out, always supporting what we do, and this is so endearing to us, so much so that the second I saw this, I knew I wanted to redo wings because I've been wanting to do barbecue wings for so long, and you just, it was inspired. Yes. Thank you. And we love our wings on the Blackstone. It's yeah. one of our favorite cooks. It comes out great. We use our usual suspects to right. dust, and then we're gonna be throwing on the barbecue sauce. And one thing we're gonna do a little bit different, normally we cook the wings, pull them, and then sauce them after, but Brett had been talking about wanting to sauce right towards the end of a cook, toss them right towards the end, really crisp up that seasoning on there yep. and then we'll lay a little bit more sauce and we'll see how this is. Of course, we'll be dipping these with ranch, but Brett, let's yep. talk about the groceries. Oh, by the way, I forgot to picture the ranch. Other than the ranch though, what do we got pictured? Uh, oh, here we go. What do we got the groceries? The star of the show, other than this amazing barbecue sauce, this Jack Stack barbecue sauce, is these wings. We got these wings, we got about 40 of them and Adam and I are gonna have a wing eating contest in the same. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so that's about it. Like I said, we're gonna be uh, dusting these up with the usual suspects. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, man. <laughs> so right before, while Brett's gloving up and getting his uniform on, let's talk about uniforms. We've got some amazing merchandise available, including these Griddle Me This Fat Man shirts, which have become some of our absolute favorite love shirts. We yeah. love these. Also, just our classic Wall Twins logo gear. Uh, we've got aprons and so many other shirts, things. golf shirts, the hoodies. Right. We've got coolers. Right, for sure. And don't forget, check the link to the merch store in the description below. And also check back regularly because we have some new merchandise things that we want to put out. So stay tuned for that as well. But Brett, let's go ahead. Since you're gloved up, I'll go ahead and glove up. And we're going to get this cooked. Now, we love doing these. They turn out phenomenal. They are time consuming. But you know what? Sometimes that's fun on the griddle because everything else cooks so quick. Yes. But it's nice when you get one that's going to take you a little bit of time. Yes. All right. So uh, basically, I'm going to just get up with this usual suspects. All right, while Brett is dusting that up, I will show we've got three of the four burners on. We've got 40 wings to toss down. So we're gonna be using most of the griddle surface. Now, if you remember, when we pull them off, we're gonna put them on this cooling rack. By the way, this cooling rack is one of many products that we have available through our Amazon affiliate program. We are as Amazon affiliates, and so any products that are purchased through the links do give us a little bit of a kickback. Absolutely no additional charge to you. It's just another way to support the Wall Twins and what we do. We really appreciate that. This cooling rack is actually one of the be best sellers <laughs> for our store, too, yes, by the is. way, for our for our affiliate links. And we, we love these, and this we use this all the time. Brett is dusting these mightily. Brett's been dusting these very liberally. Yeah, so the, when I dust these, because I do wings every week at my house for family, um, I, I, the way I describe it is I use a little more usual suspects than you think you need. So you use just north of what you think you need right. because you're gonna mix them all around and it's getting, you wanna make sure they all get coated with the usual suspects. So wanna make sure that we get it all in there and the seasoning, of course, the barbecue sauce is gonna be the real star of the show, so. I see a glove change in your near future. <laughs> so do I, <laughs> absolutely a hundred. All right, so we'll mix those up and then we'll get those tossed on the griddle. Yep. We're gonna lay down some oil. This has been on now for a good 10 minutes. And we're using all of this area. So we wanna make sure 
We have oil covering everything. So the middle of my griddle gets really, really hot. This is medium low. That middle is gonna be pushing 450 degrees or more. So we'll watch that area for sure. But Adam's the middle of the griddle, it, it gets real hot. The middle of my griddle, it gets Ready? real hot. Yes, sir. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. Not mild, wild. Now, last time we lined these up all pretty wide. This time we're just tossing these around and we're just gonna keep turning and turning and turning until we got the coloring that we want. The nice exactly. thing is, because these are on the griddle long enough, these will definitely cook all the way through. Do use our internal thermometer as well to make sure we get those up to temp. So at this point, I'm just gonna start turning these. These are already crinkly of those. Oh, this has only gee, been gee, literally gee. about three or four minutes. Yeah. This one. We know that the flappers are usually the first to go. So we're gonna see where we're temping at. So already pushing 143. Nice. All right, so those are, we're cooking up. Oh, I got all the way up to 150. Kind of the thick one right here. That one's gonna be less. That one's 107, okay. so it's got some time. This has been right in the hot zone. That is 156, so that one's getting close, bro. Nice. Some of these are getting close, bro. This thin one that's right in the hot zone. Probably ready. 149. Probably about 150, I have to guess. Hey, To be good, man. These are already so crispy on the outside. Some places they're a little rubbery, so that's okay. We're still just gonna keep turning them. Yep, we wanna make sure these things are crispy. Okay, these ones are getting close. I just want these to crisp up now at this point. A lot of our flappers are starting to get there, bro. Yes! I love flap. I prefer flappers over drums. How about you? You do too? Comment, comment, below. comment below. Flappers, flappers. Flappers because I think it's more of a consistent meat every time. The yes. drumsticks are hit or miss. When you get a good drumstick, nothing beats it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you end up with extra cartilage, the extra mm -hmm. the chewiness. Just, I, I just like with a flapper, you can break the one side and pull the whole leg out and you've right. got just a whole, it's easier to get to the meat. Yep. All right. Okay, so now what we want to do, we've got our wings done, they're all to temp. So now all we want to do is just grab a handful of these and we're going to toss them in this barbecue sauce. So I'm going to toss them down here. You're going to brush the barbecue sauce on this still. Yep.
got well, it. Well, right. there it is. Trey, thank you so much for the barbecue uh, sauce. I'm saying that before you even taste it because the smell, yes. it smells unreal it, here. Absolutely. I mean, we are in a KC barbecue pit right oh, now. Oh, yes, man. we are. Now, we know we could have thrown this on anything. We could probably could have done some ribs, done anything. But for the griddle and what I've been wanting to do, I want to do wings. And I love me some really good barbecue wings. So yep. thank you so much. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Yep. I mean, this is, the, like I said, it looks like this is what the restaurant used for their commercial. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it can smell amazing. And have we mentioned that at least once during this book oh, at man. all? But if this doesn't taste amazing, this, this was, was all for not. not. You're grabbing a flapper? I'm flapping it, Me dude. Me too. All right, cheers. I'll eat to that. My, my brother. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That crisp. Oh, my God. That is. Mm. Mm. That sauce is, is a boss. It's the, it's the star mm. of the show. It is slightly spicy. This is mm -hmm. a spicy barbecue sauce. I got I got uh, some vinegar in there, smokiness. This is what you want in a barbecue sauce right here. That is so good. I want more. That's, mm -hmm. all, that's all there is to it. Man, I had a flapper. Now I'm going to try a drum. Mm. That sauce is unbelievable. This may be my favorite KC sauce. Yeah, mm. that, is, that is absolutely amazing. Mm. This tastes like we went to a restaurant and ordered these. Mm. Or got, these, or got these delivered to us. I can't believe those were made on the Blackstone. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Trey, again, thank you so much for this amazing barbecue sauce. We're a mess and I kind of don't care right now. <laughs> it's wings. This is what you expect with mm. barbecue wings, man. Wings on the griddle can be done. Those that do them, love it. Those that haven't tried, hate it. <laughs> they say you can't do it. Shouldn't do it. Wrong tool, wrong job. Now, the key is, and I, I learned this last time, I was worried about burning them last time, and Brett said no, because you want them to crisp up yep. if you don't, they get rubbery. Yep. So he left them on, and that was key. And there are some of the uh, drumsticks that I didn't get all the way turned. There are some spots that are a little rubbery, so we're being honest right there. Yep. So you want to get those. The drums are a little bit harder to get that consistency, yep. but you just keep turning them. So uh, this is a good example of one that's the whole thing is crispy all the way around all the way. because I kept spinning and turning and making sure there was another one that's uh, not here. We went ahead and uh, took it. I think somebody was trying to eat it. <laughs> the family already came and got their fill for these because, man, these are going quick. Look at that. Yeah, I know. They're four, being 40 wings. There's probably 15 half left. left. Yeah, <laughs> half left right now. But these are spectacular. I'm glad there's more of those barbecues. Uh -huh. That flavor in my mouth, dude, I just want more of that. That is. And I can't wait to have more of that. Yeah, but the barbecue sauce, I'm sorry. It, it's been a good couple minutes since I, I, I took my last bite. Right. And it's still just in my mouth. You can taste it. It's absolutely amazing. Right. And like we said, Trey sent that to us through the mail. Here's our P.O. box. We'd like to feature you in a mail time segment as well. So thank you, Trey, so much for that. Also, if you'd like to support us in another way, we do have a Patreon page. Yeah, Patreon is a multi-tiered system where you have a little more access to the Wall Twins via uh, everything from our, our recipes to behind-the-scenes footage to the blooper reel to uh, also um, discounted merchandise, including one level where you get a free apron. So yep. those of you that have chosen to support us through Patreon, thank you so much. Yep. Uh, we can't we can't continue to do all this without you. A lot of this is paid for through that now. We yes. really, really appreciate it. A lot it. of the groceries. I don't think people realize that so much time, money, and effort goes into each of these cooks. Yep. And so we really appreciate that so much. But Brett, aside from coming to make these absolutely amazing Jack Stack barbecue style chicken wings, <laughs> why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Griddle on.